Well, hello everybody and welcome to the first edition of Bluff. Bottom line up front where if you're not sure what you're hearing sounds right to you, call my bluff. 512-592-2929. Today we're going to be talking about iBuyers. Those new buyers that offer to buy a house based on answers to questions and some photos. It seems so easy, but in my opinion, they're never good. These iBuyers are in it for themselves. They're in it, they represent the buyer themselves, and they're gonna give you a low offer price and a high, high, high expense. There are companies out there that come to mind like Open Door, Instant Offer, Zillow Offers, um, Offer Pad, and they all sound so well-intentioned and the more I get to know about them, the more they sound more like a title loan or a payday loan. Or you might liken them to trading in your car where you don't get as much for your car in exchange for convenience. There's almost always a better way. Maybe you're in a hurry for some reason. You've lost your job and you are fearful that you're gonna lose your house because you can't make those payments. I get it. That's happened to me before. Maybe, um, it's just inconvenient for you. Somebody else is in another state or whatever it happens to be and you don't want to have all the hassle. There are better ways out there. Or maybe you found your, your dream home. Wow, there it is. It's available. Honey, I know you really want that and the only way you can do it is to get your house sold so you can go and get that house. There are better ways. Well, despite my warnings, you decide to go ahead and test the waters and you answer some of their questions and provide them with photos and 24 to 48 hours, what do you know? You get an offer and it's $200,000. Wow! Is that good? I mean, according to the Zestimate, it's close, but even according to Zillow, who created the Zestimate, they have about a 5% error rate nationwide, and in Texas, a non-disclosure state, my guess is it's gonna be even worse than that. Added to that are these iBuyer fees that are called convenience fees or service fees, or get this one, experience fees. Experience this, buddy. That's ridiculous. Well, for convenience, and despite my warnings, you decide to go with the iBuyer, and they tell you there's nothing to worry about. You can back out any time. You can back out the day after you go under contract. You can back out a minute before. Nothing to worry about. And unlike a traditional transaction, they actually inspect the house, where the house gets inspected early on. These people inspect it a week, two weeks, three weeks before closing. And they come back and they tell you, you know what, the windows don't wind and the plumbing ain't plumb. And because there's all these problems, instead of $200,000, we're gonna give you $180,000. No problem, they say. You can back out. Really? And think about this, at $180,000, now you're at $162,000 if they're charging 10%. In your mind and emotionally, you're committed. You've spent the money. Maybe you're helping somebody with assisted living, paying off somebody's debt, paying for somebody's school. What a great surprise that is. There are much better ways. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is this. I buyer companies are in it for themselves. They represent themselves. They don't represent you. They're going to give you a low offer and charge you high fees and you have no representation. So do you know what you're doing? What's the best way to figure that out? The best way is to contact me. If you agree with me, great, give me a call. If you're not sure what I'm telling you is true and you wanna call my bluff, bottom line up front, that's fine. 512-592-2929. It's Tom Catlin. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.